Hello my dear friends, welcome back to the channel and this is your friend Dr. Suresh Shenmi. Today I am here to discuss a very important point that is how to manage stress during the major dental exams. And I am sharing my own experiences which I have gathered over a period of years when I appeared various exams like Indian postgraduate exam, NBDE, ADAD and Middle East exams. And I hope that these tips will help you to overcome such challenging situations. Coming to the first tip, I know it is difficult to compare a stress of one student with a stress of another student because stress is highly subjective. And for example, there are students who really get stressed out just because they have got two to three marks less than what they had expected. And there are some students who will be only stressed out if they don't clear the exams. So what if, if you have a situation in which you can compare your stress and really assess whether it is only us who are going through so much of stressful exams or days. This I used to do by watching some of the amazing inspirational movies like Gifted Hand, Greatest Game Ever Played, which is based on true stories of many individuals who after going tremendous amount of struggle end up achieving some of the amazing things in your life. So during stressful days of exam, if you really feel let down or hopeless, then watching inspirational movies can really help you a lot. And I hope that you will do it. The second important thing which I would like to tell you is that always believe in your family and talk to them if you are stressed out. Now I know that when you are young, you tend to think that your parents will not understand it. But trust me, they believe in you and you will only realize it when you become a parent. And your parents have reached this situation in order to give you such amount of facilities and education. It is only because they have gone through tremendous amount of struggle and stress to reach that position. So if you have some stress in your life, I am 100% sure that if you talk to your parents, they can really help you to calm you down. The third important thing is always better to have one or two friends who can really help you during these stressful days. For example, when I was a student, I had one or two friends and I used to call them whenever I used to be under stress about studies and they used to calm me down. When they were in stress, they used to call me and I used to calm them down. So this is really mutual and these type of friendships sometimes can help you throughout your life to face many challenges which you will not be able to manage on your own. The next tip which I would like to tell you is not to prepare for the exam at the last moment. This is specifically true for most of the entrance exams because you have so much portion to cover and if you plan to read at the last moment then you will not be able to revise and you will end up feeling stressed out because you can't remember anything. So don't try to read at the last moment. The next important thing is when I was a student most of the exams were memory based but in today's world most of the exams are knowledge based and this is especially true and I realized it when I appeared for my NBD exam. NBD exams are difficult not because they ask you something new it is difficult because they twist the question and try to understand whether you have understood the topic. And the same pattern of examination is now followed in most of the countries. So it is important that you understand the topic and then remember them by probably doing multiple revisions. Coming to the next tip, I know as a student there are certain situations where in spite of reading many times, you may not be able to understand the topic and that is absolutely all right. But in today's world, you have such an amazing platform like YouTube where you can find some of the amazing teachers who are sitting at the other corner of the world and they can help you to understand the topic in a better way by looking at their videos which are posted on their YouTube channel. And this I have realized when I appeared for my NBD exam. I was already a co-author for various books in India but I still had to read the basics and at the age of 33 it is difficult to grasp. I realized this when I appeared for my NBD exam when I was in US and I had very less books with me and then I came across various channels like Khan Academy and some of the video makers 
who have made such an amazing way which may not have a lot of views because generally the educational videos are really boring but if you search and watch them they will really help you to understand the topic coming to the next tip i know that the exams are stressful but trust me it is more of a task than a very important stage of your life because at every stage of your life you will end up having such of the exams even after you finish the exam and enter the real world you still have to face lot of challenges so if you can consider these exams and challenges and work towards it work really hard and do give your best you will end up increasing your threshold to handle the stress so that it can help you in future in order to face much larger challenges the last thing which i would like to tell you is that in spite of reading a lot there will be some days where you can no longer read or because your brain feels really saturated on those days it is always best to just not to read and go back and relax without thinking too much talk to your friends watch some movies and the next day you can start reading again with a fresh mind so my dear students i hope that these tips are really helpful to you if you have any questions and suggestions please write into the comment section and i hope to see you in my next video and do subscribe to the channel if you found the video helpful